there's no doubt we have some very intelligent kids living here in Northeast Wisconsin. Yeah, many of them are showing off their skills at the Science Expo at Shopko Hall in Ashwaubenon today. This morning we're joined by uh, Julie, the director of the Expo. Good morning, Julie. Good morning. Well, it's a great day to come out here because there is so much to see. We have over 60 exhibitors doing hands-on things with kids today. But as part of the expo, we also have a science fair, which kids from 2nd through 8th grade are showcasing what they can do in science. We have two young men with us this morning, brothers, Alex and Nico. Um, Arias, who are with us from Parkview Middle School in Ashwaubenon, they're going to demonstrate their project, which is the hydrogen fuel cell and what kind of efficiency it represents. Can you tell us a little bit about your project? Well, basically, we are taking water and running an electric current and splitting the water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. And then the fuel cell will convert the hydrogen into energy to move the car. Okay, wow. well, why don't you turn it on for us and show us what's happening can you explain a little bit about what the process is taking place here? How do you separate uh, the make a hydrogen fuel cell? We use this battery pack to run an electric current through the water. Now the water structure is two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen. And when we run the electric current through it, it splits it through a chemical change into hydrogen and oxygen. And you found out this was fairly efficient, didn't you? Yes. It the fuel cell runs on 93% efficiency. Wow, so that's a lot better than a gas-powered vehicle? Yes, you on your typical vehicle would lose about 60, around 60% 60 of energy into heat and other cause, and only the rest of it, the other like 40%, would actually go into running your vehicle down the road. Absolutely interesting and fascinating. These guys have done such a great job for us. They've been with us a number of years. This is just one of the projects that people can see today. Wow. Really seen some neat things this morning. And just it's amazing how, how many smart kids, you know, we have living around us. They're just so intelligent. There, there's a hovercraft here that was a kid created from a vacuum cleaner. We have somebody who has built a xylophone out of different st uh, sizes of copper tubes. Wow. And uh, there was just all sorts of things to see. So come on out. We're here from 9 until 4 o'clock today. All right. Thanks, Julie. Be a lot of fun. Thanks. Thank you.